LeBron James and the Cavs trying to complete the comeback against the Warriors. Game seven of the NBA Finals doesn't get any bigger. Picking up tied at 89, two minutes left. Kyrie the miss. Andre Iguodala in transition. Watch the block by LeBron James. We got a couple more looks at it for you. We got James running at 19 miles an hour, pulling off the signature play at the huge moment. Check the rear view. Again, LeBron doesn't get enough credit for being the defender he is. He'll take a seat, exhausted on the bench for now. Still tied at 89. Here's Kyrie over Steph. Huge shot from Irving. Stan told him, you'll probably hear from him later, he didn't need a two in that spot. <laughs> but he went for three and got it. Reaction in Cleveland, pretty much what you would expect. Cavs took a 92-89 lead. Here are the Warriors. 40 seconds or so left. Curry got Kevin Love switched on him, trying to create. The pass out gets it back. Tough possession there. Rebound to LeBron. Steph had a real rough shooting display down the stretch. 15 seconds left. Cavs still up three. Kyrie the driving gives it to LeBron. Looked like he hurt his wrist on the play. He, he brought that one in from Akron. I mean, <laughs> he was trying to throw that one down. And, and people were concerned, would he be okay to take the free throws? Oh, yeah, he's going to take the free throws. Don't you worry. LeBron able to shake it off. And here he is. And just to add to the drama, sure, why <laughs> not? Misses the first. Steph's thinking, you know what? I still got a shot here. We're in a three-point game. Steps up. Rattles the second home. That's a four-point lead. And that's pretty much your ball game. James pleading one more stop, guys. As he said throughout, I'll take care of the offensive end. You guys take care of the stops. Six seconds left. Curry misses yet again. Most space. The meaningless heave at the buzzer. And that's it. Cleveland wins the title. Oh, yeah. First championship in franchise history. Ending a 52-year championship drought for the city. The land will enjoy this. Brought home by their native son. I came back for a reason. I came back to, to, to bring a championship to our city. Um, I knew what I was capable of doing. I knew what I learned in the last couple of years that I was gone. And uh, when I came back, I knew I had the right ingredients and the right blueprint to help this franchise get back to it, uh, to a place that we've never been. And, um, you know, it's not even relief. It's just excitement for us as a team, as a franchise, as a city, as a community, um, you know, to be able to continue to build up our city, uh, continue to be an uh, inspiration to our city, it, it means everything, and I'm happy to be a part of it. You know, I never cry, you know. I, I always been tough and never cried, and just after the game, my brother's here, um, Greg, just said, I've never seen you cry before, and um, just a lot of emotions, you know, just built up. You know, my grandfather couldn't be here. He passed away, and um, all the haters and all the doubters, and it just all built up at one time. And then we finally, hearing that last horn go off, um, it was just unbelievable. We knew what all of us were capable of so much of the time, um, in particular with this Golden State team, how they match up against certain teams. You know, matchups dictate lineups. And we had a number of guys that, that stepped up for us when we needed it bad. And uh, yeah, I mean, you talk about vindication. This is, uh, you know, the main reason that you know, I came here and wanted to come here because I knew we'd have a great shot to, to win a title. Last year, I felt like it was taken away, you know, from me, especially with the injury. And uh, this year, um, you know, got to have my first. I'm just really thankful to be a part of history like this and to be it to be done with the group that I have in that locker room and us making history and etching our names forever in NBA history. So the Cavaliers do it. They not only come back from three games to one down, they also win on the road in Game 7, which has been hard to do. They're just the fourth team in NBA history to win a Game 7 on the road in the finals. Steve Kerr's team lost Game 5 here, and then they also lost Game 7 here. Here's what he had to say afterwards. Yeah, we're stunned. We, we thought we were going to win. Um, I was extremely confident coming into tonight, especially having Draymond uh, back from the suspension from five and now, you know, seven, game seven at home. But this is why um, you can't mess around, you know, and not that we messed around, but, um, you know, this is why every game counts. Win or lose, 
Um, you appreciate the, the stage we were on and um, just that back and forth that that we, we live for. So, um, yeah, it stung. It, it, it sucked to watch them, you know, celebrate and um, I wish that would have been us. But at the end of the day, you congratulate them for accomplishing what they set out to do. Hey, you can't win them all. Obviously, we'd love to be sitting here, you know, spraying champagne on each other and all that stuff, but it didn't happen. But, you know, I'm happy with, you know, the way we went out, and we just got to continue to get better and try to get back next year. It hurts real bad right now, but I promise you we're going to get better from it, and it's not the last time we'll be at this stage, and it's not last, you know, it's not the last time we'll be here. Did the better team win? Yes. Yeah, better team won. That's the beauty of the NBA playoffs. You, you play a seven-game series, um, the, the best team wins, and they were better than us in this series.